is coming, man. Y'all read the word? Straight out of the game. Living in the last days, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be ready to ride. And everything in between. No way for the gospel. Get ready. back to Cali to uh, on Tuesday. So Monday, 
wake up, I got a kink in my neck. I end up getting a migraine. If I'm not dry heaving, I'm laying in bed trying not to dry heave because of the migraine that I ended up getting from my neck being messed up. And I thought about it part way through the day. It was the last day she was there. I was obedient to the Lord. But I may or may not have been um, on point. I may, have, may or may not have been exactly where I needed to be with my prayer, my intercession, and my warfare. And I said may or may not have been because I know that could have gotten way worse. But later on in the afternoon, it started coming back to life a little bit. And my wife made a comment about it being spiritual. And I told her I had thought the exact same thing. It was spiritual warfare for the night before. It was the Lord allowing me because when we're in his hand, if the enemy touches you, it's allowed for a purpose and for a reason. So the Lord allowed me to get touched so I wouldn't be complacent that I need to operate with that warrior mentality, that militant mentality that he's given me. I need to operate in that way that if you ain't seen them, harm a legend, eclipse, lights out, a G will play, slain them, they don't want the truth, so we face feed them, without Christ, you're a slave with no tongue, you couldn't taste freedom, related to straight heathens, they got bees on their head and they ain't from Boston, just spiritual gangsters, because the mentality that I have, and the, the way that I am, I can't be... I, I can't get caught slipping and the enemy caught me slipping and the Lord showed that to me that, that I got caught slipping and that's on me but it's a it was also a lesson and a learning point because if we don't take those kinds of things and correlate them and connect them to the spiritual realm we miss it I will miss it every time if we're not looking at it with discernment spiritual discernment where the Holy Spirit reveals things to us. So I got caught slipping. I was allowed to get caught slipping to remind me the devil ain't nobody to play with. These unclean spirits bow down to the name of Jesus. These things surrender and submit to the Lord of all lords and the king of all kings. My papa. But they ain't playing. What does scripture say? Where, where, was, the, where was the enemy waiting? He was lurking where? Outside the door. Waiting for what? Somebody to devour. He's just waiting. He's waiting for you to get complacent. He's waiting for you to just kind of put your hands in your pockets and sit back. He's waiting for you to not take it seriously and to let life's things get to you. And when you do that, it gets you every time. But while I was laid up in bed, I heard my wife and all three of my children playing and laughing and I heard my oldest in there with my wife and I's kids and they were laughing and enjoying themselves and I was blessed because of that. Even though I was laid up dry heaving with a migraine and a whole nine to hear my kids for a little backstory my oldest is 10 and then my wife and I have an almost one year old and an almost three year old but to hear them all laughing and playing and enjoying themselves while she was out for a visit it it, it was worth that migraine it was worth being laid up in that bed so I could hear that. Now my challenge to you is are you going to let the enemy steamroll you? Are you going to let the enemy punk you? Or are you going to go to war, taking thoughts captive, decreeing and declaring the word of God, invoking Lord through scripture and releasing the hosts of the Lord into battle through the word of God being declared, spoken, and released into a situation, into an area.
area, into a region, whatever it may be. We're only as blessed as much as we allow ourselves to be blessed by the scriptures. We only receive from God what we allow ourselves to receive from God. We're the only ones that hinder all that he has in his hand for us to receive. We're the, we're the only ones that can hinder that. We're the only ones that can stop that. And we're the only ones that can decide to have a submitted and surrendered heart to him so that he can do what only he can do in our lives. That was the first or second much more strategic move of the Lord. It's just the beginning. He's just getting started. But that means his servants, his sons, his sent ones, his warriors, his bride have to be on point. Whatever that looks like for you, whatever that looks like in your attitude, your demeanor, your personality, he made you how he made you for a reason. Not everybody's a Paul, not everybody's a Peter. Just don't be a Judas and watch what God can do through you.